Today, I'm gonna be showing you guys exactly how to get into UNC. How's it going? My name is Ashton Herndon, and let me just say that I'm a little skeptical about the whole UNC admissions thing. I mean, over the past few days, I've seen a bunch of different high schoolers finally committing to all their new colleges. And again, you know, big college YouTuber here. <laughs> I am well past the college admissions crowd. But even though I make myself appear as this big college guru, there's been one secret that I've been hiding that I just have to get off my chest. <sighs> UNC is the only school that rejected me. I know. I know, it's very devastating to hear. And I mean, considering everything else I had on my application, reading that rejection letter really started to bother me. When I was in high school, I was obsessed with getting into the best colleges out there. So I would do anything and everything I could to be on the same level as these Ivy League scholars. And I mean literally everything. I mean, I got straight A's, played every sport in the book, and did everything I could to be the perfect candidate for these top tier schools. And to be honest with you guys, I even started to wear Carolina blue every day just to prove it was a good fit for me. And at first, all this hard work really started to pay off. As college decisions started to roll around, I started getting into every single school that I applied to. And even though I'd gotten into all these amazing schools, there was still one beast out there that I had yet to conquer. UNC, baby. When I first came to visit UNC, I noticed very quickly that this place was exactly what I thought it would be. I mean, all around campus, I would see these superhuman students surrounded by such great history, and they did it all while wearing one of the best color schemes in the game. But even though seeing this place was a dream come true, I became absolutely terrified because I realized that getting in here would be a lot harder than I thought it would be. And after hearing that admissions are a lottery, but also all about where you live, and that in-state you're guaranteed a spot, but out of state it's almost impossible, I had no idea how to feel about UNC anymore. And I started to question if I really deserved to get rejected. And that's why I'm here today. I know that getting into college can be a super stressful process, and at times it really does feel like a lottery on who they actually let in. But lucky enough for you, I got a couple tricks up my sleeve to help you guys get a guaranteed spot here. So today we're hitting the road again. So today we're going into one of the most iconic colleges in the south to see just how good UNC really is and even though it may seem like you have to be super smart to get in here there's a ton of different people out there that got in a completely different way than you think from valedictorians to d1 athletes to even a couple of duke transfers out there no stones being left unturned today baby I'm actually like really excited to do this shit today bro like we just finished a 10 hour drive it's a nice day out but at the same time it is finals week here so I guarantee all these students aren't expecting a goofy ass kid like me running up to them and being like excuse me sir how'd you get in here. But you know what? It's gonna be all good. All right, you know the drill. You ready? Ah, that's the spirit. All right, let's do this. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Do you guys mind if I ask you a couple questions for a YouTube video? Yes, sir, for sure. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yes. All right, awesome. You ready? Ready. I'm ready. Ready as I always be. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> uh, sure. <laughs> you nervous? A little bit. <laughs> a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. <laughs> hey, it's okay. It's okay. We got this. We got this. I got a little trick and I do it at every school and it works every time, I promise. We're going to take a deep breath here. Inhale. And exhale. <sighs> I'm good. You good? All right. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. So first question, what is your name? Where are you from? And how many years have you been at UNC? My name is Haley Clayton. Hugh Martin. Jamie Guilford. Kendriana Frazier. I go by Ken. I'm from New Jersey. I'm from Maryland. I'm from Nigeria, but we moved here some years ago. I'm from Davidson, North Carolina. Salisbury, North Carolina. Red Springs, North Carolina, which is a really small town. Originally from Greensboro, North Carolina. Laurenburg, North Carolina. Whitsitt, North Carolina. Apex, North Carolina. And yeah, I've been here for one year. One year. One year. Three years. Three years. Two years. I'm a transfer student. I'm a senior, so I've been here four years. I'm actually my fourth year. I'm a fourth year. This is my fourth year at UNC. Wow, senior year. Okay, okay. <laughs> and what was your number one reason for coming to UNC? Well, ever since I first came to UNC as a kid, I immediately loved it. And my mom's an alumni, so she like instilled the, like Tar Heel pride in me as a kid. I think I toured my sophomore year of high school, so I knew I've always wanted to come here. I've always wanted to come here. My parents both went to school in North Carolina. My family's just always been big into UNC sports. They love it here. I love the atmosphere of athletics. Beating Duke, best feeling. <laughs> yes. Yes. Sports programs, honestly. And uh, just great school overall. My number one reason for coming to the UNC is the pharmacy school. I came here because of the academics. I thought that the academics were great. Best school in the state. Top in the North Carolina. It's a great school. It's challenging. It's good for my major as well, for nursing. They are first in nursing. UNC has a really good journalism program. I knew I wanted to pursue a career in medicine, and UNC is great. It's bio and pre-med programs. You know, the school that has, like, one of the highest rated pharmacy schools in the world, you might as well come here, you know what yeah. I mean? They have good academic programs, good medical programs, and that's really what I wanted to do, yeah. so that's why I came here. I only got into two schools, and this had the better history department. 
<laughs> all right, very well said. Enough said. I reached out to professors at all the departments that I like got into, and um, most of them sent back like a generic like check out our website email. And then for here, the professor like offered to meet with me. We talked for like two hours about his research, and I was just really impressed with like the personal touch. Well, I moved here like three years ago, and as soon as I got here, I just really liked the color, you know. So I had to go to UNC Chapel Hill just for the color. That was it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough said, fair enough. So obviously there's a ton of different reasons out there to come to UNC. And whether you're a first gen, a legacy, or even just a fan of the colors, there's a million different reasons to come here. But at the end of the day, being a top five public school is still pretty damn rigorous. So it doesn't necessarily mean that everyone's happy with their decision. So I decided to see if this place really lives up to the hype. So on a scale of one to 10, how happy are you with that decision? I would say a six or seven. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say a seven. Seven, seven, eight. Seven or an eight. I really do like it. Here. No, I love it here, but um, yeah, it's just it's, it's a hard school, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a challenge. This is hard. <laughs> like it's more competitive than I thought it was gonna be. A lot more stress goes into it. Sometimes it's not as fun as you think it's gonna be. I know, like you go into college, you're like, oh yeah, it's gonna be hard, but like it's like, dang, like this is a challenge, but it's fun at the same time. Overall, it's like an eight or a nine, like a nine, a nine, 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 eight, eight and a half, ten, ten, easy ten. I mean, I don't think I can picture myself at any other school. I told everyone if I didn't get in here, I didn't really want to go to school because this is the only school I want to go to so very happy actually no yeah I love it here so happy I would do it again any day you know I have a good group of friends I love the campus and the atmosphere is great the opportunities the campus resources like nothing beats Carolina in my opinion when it comes to resources and things to do it's like endless I feel like I get a really good work-life balance I can work hard during the week and I can learn a lot but socially on the weekends there's a lot of people out there's a lot of activities it's so much fun going to games going to Franklin Street with my friends I love the nursing program program just everything about it it's just the best oh that's so wholesome i yeah. love that <laughs> i mean from the looks of it unc really does live up to be everything you want it more and even though this place may truly live up to its name there's still the question of whether or not you actually get accepted in the first place but even after hearing a ton of different rumors about how hard it is to get in here you'd be pretty surprised with some of the responses we got so obviously you got into unc which means you had some pretty decent high school stats <laughs> Some would say yes. <laughs> so, what was your GPA, your test scores, and were you in any extracurriculars in high school? Oh, I gotta think back. Let's see if I can remember all of this. I don't really know. I can't remember. Like, GPA, probably a 3.6, 3.8. Probably like a 3.5. I was a transfer student here. I didn't get in my first time. My unweighted was a 4.0, 4.0, 3.83. Three. My weighted was a 4.7, 4. 4.735. 4. 4.57. 4.52. 4.56 4.5 4 4.5 4 4.43 4 or something like that 4.6 4.7 i finished top of my class wow awesome awesome test scores were very regular like nothing special at all like 28 for my act 30 on the act like a 29 30 32 33 act i got like a 20 but i didn't submit it so yeah <laughs> <laughs> i actually did not test i didn't submit my sat my test score they weren't that good. I'll say that. SAT scores. It wasn't that high, honestly. I think it was like 1250. 1320. 1330. 1410. 1490. 1510. 1520 on my SAT. Dang. Okay, <laughs> smarty fans. Extracurriculars. I managed football all throughout high school. So I played a lot of sports. I played basketball my whole life. Basketball, softball, volleyball. I did track. I did rugby. I played soccer. I did basketball. And I was in like all the honor societies. I was president of like Spanish National honor society for a couple of years national honor society i was on the exec board also national honor society national honor society national honor society i just like did a lot of volunteering i would say i did a lot of volunteer work probably close to like 200 hours or something i just did a few volunteer things in the community i was in about like 10 clubs i was in every club i was in leadership in all those clubs fca ffa beta club honors national society key club and i did track i did a lot of other stuff too but i can't remember Wow. Damn, you guys are both like top of the line. Look at y'all. Awesome. So as you can probably tell by now, there really is no financial class or academic status that defines UNC. And no matter how good or bad you may look on paper, the most important part of picking the right college is finding a place where you can truly be happy. And lucky enough for you, we got a ton of different responses to see if UNC would be the perfect place for you. And I have one final question. So now that you've been at UNC, the amount of time that you have, if you were to go back to high school, do it all over again, do you still think that you would have chosen UNC? Oh, you already know the answer. Most 
Most definitely. Most definitely. Definitely. Absolutely, yeah. 1,000% yes. Yes. Yes, I would. Definitely. And if anything, I wish that I would have gotten in straight out of high school because these have been some of the best two years of my life. I've really enjoyed it here. 100% would make the decision again. That's just so amazing. I don't know. It's a great school. It's the best school in the world. In high school, I like always thought I was going to be here anyway, so I feel like it was set in stone for me. I've always like loved Carolina, and I've always wanted to go here, so I think from the time I entered pre-K, I was like, oh, I'm going to go to UNC. Like, that's it. Like, that's for sure. So I think if you put me back in that same situation, I'd be like, UNC, all the way. It's very challenging, but you have to have some challenge in there, because how are you going to grow? I mean, it's hard, but come on. That's what we came here for. I mean, a big part of that is just like the people I've met here, you know? Yeah. Like, it's, it's great to have all my friends, and I, I feel like I couldn't take that back. I just love the community here, honestly. I just feel like everyone's so just kind to each other here, and everybody just spreads love. Like, that's the main message at UNC, is just spread love. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Look at this. UNC admissions, you need to hire this man right here. He is killing it. So if you guys have seen any of my other interview videos before, then you know that this is a point that I can't stress enough. And even though I started out today beefing with UNC, at the end of the day, all the amazing students here just help the overall message get stronger and stronger. Not a single person said that they would change where they are today. And even if it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows at first, these amazing students ended up exactly where they were meant to be. And this is the biggest lesson I can give you guys. Life is always going to throw challenges at you. And at times, it may seem impossible to keep going. But at the end of the day, going to UNC Chapel Hill isn't going to be easy. I mean, by no means am I a genius. But even I couldn't make the cut here. So as long as you push through and keep your end goal in mind, getting into your dream school is going to be a lot less scary than you think. Just trust me. Everything's going to work out perfectly. I promise. So, with that being said, if you guys found this video helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I do respond to every single comment, so if you have any other questions or video ideas, make sure to leave them down below. I do have a playlist of everything you need to know about college, so if you want to go check it out, it'll be right here. And if you want to join the family of over 6.5 thousand subscribers now, you can click right here. And yeah, that's it for me this week, guys, and I will see you guys next week. What is your name, where are you from, and how many years have you been at Florida State? Or, fuck, not Florida State. <laughs> UNC. I got a couple of tricks on my sleeve to help you guys get a guaranteed spot here. What the fuck?